Welcome in once again to the SLU Sports Network for the edition of the Coaches Show. I'm Kay Crenshaw, joined today by our softball coach, Coach Corey Atkins. Coach, welcome to the show. How are you? Oh, it's good to be here, Kay. Doing well. Good, good. Well, uh, of course, your guys' regular season's coming down to a close here. Just a few series left in the conference tournament coming up. And what a season it's been for you guys, especially here of late winners of 13 of your last 14, I believe the figure is. What's been the key to this hot streak lately? What's been the turning point for this team that's shot you up into the upper tier of the conference standings? Yeah, I just really think that, you know, some of the work we did in the fall and early in the season has started to pay off. It's not like we just started doing something different overnight. Uh, and, you know, going in when you have a really young team, you know sometimes it may take a while for that, for those pieces to gel. And I, I think that's been the key is just taking some time for those pieces to gel. You mentioned in our previous show talking about how young this team is and a majority of this team being freshmen and sophomores and you said this freshman class is going to be talented. They're going to be special and that's exactly what they've done. You look in the batting average column, Lydia Clanton leading the way for you guys, also playing second base, Emma Collins out in center field, Delaney Byers at short, um, among others. How impactful has this freshman class has been and how have you watched them grow from all the training you did in the fall to where we are now here in the spring? Well, I think, you know, to mention all the freshmen, Taylor Lee, also another starter, uh, plays left field and leads off for us. But all, all of those guys have really just, you know, they have a high competitive level. And you can see that from day one. And you know when you have a competitor, they may get knocked down, but they're going to get back up. Uh, I think the key for them lately has just been, you know, experience and getting those at bats. And I see them mature game to game. And one big addition to your pitching staff this year, or should I say a girl who's really stepped up big, has been Ashton Martin, the transfer that came into your program and uh, set a single-season school record for strikeouts in the season. Uh, just been so effective from the mound, both on the mound and also at the plate. She had a few out of the park. Yeah, I'll talk about Ashton a little bit. Uh, Ashton is a local product here out of Daniel High School, went to Eastern Kentucky. Uh, pitched about 30 innings there, I believe, 40 innings as a freshman. Had some success early. Uh, decided she wanted to come back home. So she sat out last year redshirted, and, you know, we were just fortunate to get her. Ashton, along with Delaney Ladenbacher and Emma Collins, have I think that's a strength to our team as our pitching staff. They've kept us in pretty much every game. Uh, and you mentioned Ashton getting that strikeout record. I think that's a record she's probably going to reset two more times. Well, Coach, uh, of course, as you go through the season, a lot of, a lot of young people on this squad. But you do have two seniors, and uh, Jessica and Lexi. Although you've just been here now in your second year, how have they stepped up in that senior leadership role and r really taken on that role with this team? Well, I think to mention both of those guys without talking about how good of people they are would be unfair to them and just talk about their softball abilities. But both of them are just great people. They're fun to be around. They're, they're people that our, our team likes being around. Unfortunately, I think in week three or four of the year, Jessica had an injury over at in North Georgia. You know during one of her at-bats and really had a season-ending injury. She kind of opted to have the surgery after the season when things slow down a little bit. So, you know, she's still been at practice pretty much every day and, and just being really a supportive teammate. Lexi has been uh, so critical for us on the field as well, though. She's been our starting catcher in about 60% of our games and recently has been playing a little bit of first base when she's not catching. Lexi just has a lot of experience. You know, she was another Division One transfer that came in here as a sophomore, I believe, in, in at the semester between the fall and the spring. But Lexi, I think Lexi's intangibles, just, you know, she's a real, you know, happy person. She's, like I said, she's fun to be around. The girls like being around her. But I think what we'll miss both with those guys is just how great of people they are. One thing that I've just sensed from beginning of the season and going to that opening day game to now is, it seems like the girls are having a lot of fun. They're yeah. just enjoying the season while, of course, they're winning games, which is always great. That's the big goal here. It seems like they're having fun, both in the dugout, cheering on their teammates, and just enjoying the season overall. Well, I, th I think, uh, and you'll ask any athlete, this winning is fun. Uh, you know, of course, there are teams that, that may be miserable that win a lot, but I, I think that's attributed to how well, you know, our our kids get along with each other. I'm reluctant to call them kids. They're 18 <laughs> to 22, but, you know, I still do that. But they really enjoy being around each other. And, you know, they're really competitive. And when competitors win, they're having fun. And I think that the winning has just, you know, bred some confidence in them. And uh, they, they do. They have fun every time they're at the practice field, any game day. Uh, but, again, you know, 
talked about the two seniors. They're just we, we have some great people on this team. We have some great people that are fun to be around. Looking at the remainder outlook of this year, just a few series left with North Greenville and Catawba, then the conference uh, tournament coming up as well. What's the standing looking like for you guys as we head out of the regular season? Well, right now, Cade, we're sitting in fourth in Conference Carolinas. We are uh, 11 and 7. So, you know, w one thing that, that means a lot to our team is this is going to be the second team ever in the history of the softball program at Southern Wesleyan to finish above 500 in conference play. That's something that our team has, has taken a lot of pride in doing and a lot of pride in achieving. Uh, so the main thing we want to do is just continue that momentum in the postseason play because we definitely feel like we have a chance to compete for that, that tournament championship from Conference Carolinas. He's Coach Atkins. He's our softball coach here for the Warriors. Coach, as always, we appreciate your time. Hey, what a great season it's been. Best of luck the rest of the way here on the back end and going into that conference tournament. Yeah, thank you, Kate. It's great to be here. All right. That's Coach Atkins. He's our softball coach. I'm Kay Crenshaw. Thank you for joining us here on the SWOO Sports Network for another edition of the Coach's Show. We'll see you next time.